Hi, I'm Jana Axline. Welcome to our Project Rescue Series. I joined the project as a recovery consultant on a project that had already spent $10 million and there was nothing being used in production. It was one of the top three initiatives in the company and yet it couldn't get the traction it needed to be successful. When I get a, a project that uh, needs to be rescued or you know, turned around, one of the first things I do is to look at the project org chart. And as the team was walking me through it, they mentioned that we they, we were going to meet weekly with the sponsors. Sponsors, as in more than one? On this project, there were three, each from a different department. Sponsors play a critical role in project success and therefore can be a direct cause of project failure. So when evaluating why a project is off track, it's important to examine what role the sponsor is actually playing on the project and could the sponsor be more effective. Only have one sponsor. The sponsor is essentially the captain of the ship, and you can imagine what would happen if there was more than one captain, and each captain wanted to steer at a different location. In a project, it's not uncommon for there to be competing prior priorities between stakeholders, as each stakeholder group is focused on what's best for their group and the outcomes they are seeking to achieve. Now, the sponsor is supposed to be focused on the overall project outcomes and attaining project ROI that was set forth in the business case. This means that often a sponsor is responsible for deconflicting competing priorities and understanding what, the, what will get the project the best overall outcome. So if there is more than one sponsor, then there's no single point of accountability to those project outcomes. And if sponsors have competing priorities that have to be deconflicted amongst themselves, it means now we'll have to go to a leader outside the project in order to resolve the conflicts. The key is to have a single point of accountability that manifests itself as one sponsor. Next, we need to ensure that the um, sponsor's role is clearly defined. Oftentimes, when someone is assigned the role of a sponsor, they're, they're given this role with no explanation of what that means or what the expectations are. Maybe it's assumed that this person already knows what the roles and responsibilities of a sponsor are, or perhaps they're sim assigned simply because the project must have a sponsor, but nobody really understands what that role means. A sponsor is the champion of the project. This person should be the project's biggest cheerleader. The sponsor should be advocating the project throughout the organization and ensuring it's getting the right visibility within the organization. The sponsor is responsible for providing the project with the resources it needs. Typically, that looks like funding. And finally, the sponsor is the professional roadblock remover. They are an escalation path for the project when the project is blocked in achieving its results. Make sure you have the right person in the role of sponsor. When you understand the role of the sponsor, you may find that the person who is playing that role isn't the right fit. The sponsor owns the business case and therefore owns the project outcomes. The sponsor should be invested in reaching those outcomes. If the outcomes are to, to improve customer service and the sponsor is the CFO, that is most likely a misaligned sponsor. Uh, it's really important that a sponsor be engaged. It should be clear by now that a sponsor cannot be a person who sits on the sidelines and only shows up for steering committee meetings. A sponsor should have an active understanding of how the project is going and constantly be working with the project manager to adjust the activities within the project to ensure the project hits its goals. The sponsor should be scanning the environment and validating that the project is still going to fulfill the business case and resolve whatever the business need was that drove the business case to begin with. A disengaged sponsor becomes an anchor to the project. So if your project is off track and needs to be rescued, the role of the sponsor and how that role is being filled should be examined. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Project Rescue. I'm Jana Axline.